So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. A while ago I showed you how to go ahead and put Google Chromecast onto your Fire Stick. A lot of people saying they're having issues with it. So today I'm gonna to show you a solution. Stay tuned. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm on the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. If you're looking for a new Fire Stick or some other type of device, check out my description down below. Got some links in there. Click on the link. No extra cost to you when you click on the link. Small commission does come to the channel and it helps to keep bringing you some good videos. So Google Chromecast. Let's look at it. Amazon. Stop the mouse toggle from working. So now the only way to go ahead and use a mouse with Google Chromecast is that you needed an OTG cable. All right, you had to go and buy one. And then you needed a USB mouse or a Bluetooth mouse. So you needed another device to go ahead and use so that way you can use Google Chromecast. A little bit pain, but here it goes. I'm gonna show you a solution. So this way you could go ahead and use your Android phone, if you have one, or an Amazon Fire tablet, or an Android tablet. I'm on an Amazon Fire 10 tablet. So I'm gonna show you the steps that you could go ahead and use after you download Google Chromecast onto your Fire Stick, how you could go ahead and navigate through the system. So right now we're on the home screen of the Amazon Fire tablet. So once you're on your Android phone or your Fire tablet, what you want to do is go ahead and open up the Silk browser. This is how we're going to go ahead and get this app so that way you can use Google Chromecast. So let's click on the internet. And then what you want to do is you want to go into it, it says search the web, and you want to type in the following. You want to type in Android, TV, ADB, mouse, keyboard. Once you have done that, you go ahead and click on that enter button. It's going to bring you up to your web page where you could go scroll through and find different things that you like. And once you find the one that you want, then you go ahead and we're going to download it. But right now, we're going to use the top one right here, APK Mirror, and we're going to go and click on it. Once we click on it, the page changes. What you need to do is go ahead and scroll down to where it says download APK. Go ahead, click on that, give it a few seconds, and it will start downloading. Right now we got a message that says download again. Yes, I'm gonna download it again, so that way I can show you everything that goes on through the video. After it's finished downloading, just swipe down. If you're on the Amazon Fire tablet, just swipe down. Go ahead and click on open. And now it's gonna bring you to the next page. And on the bottom, it's gonna say cancel install. Let's go ahead now and install the Android TV. ADB mouse keyboard app installed. Let's go and open it up. Make sure you read through everything. Then you could go ahead and click on don't show again and then click on OK. Now here it is. Here's the mouse that you're going to be using. On the bottom left, you can see it says not configured. What we need to do is just a couple of more steps. Click on the gear. Right now we need to go and put in the server IP address. So let's go do that right now. I'm going to put that information in and come right back. After you go ahead and you put the IP address in from your Fire Stick, which is very easy to find, all you gotta do is go to the gear, my Fire TV, go to about, go down to network, and on the right hand side is where you go to find your IP address. Right now we have to allow the USB debugging Let's go ahead and click the check mark, go to allow and click on allow. So once you go ahead and you put your IP address in and you allow the USB debugging, then you go on to go ahead and you're gonna get your virtual mouse that's on your Android phone or your Fire tablet. Now down at the bottom where the gear was, it's also a directional pad. You click on that directional pad and it's gonna bring it up onto your screen of your Android phone or your tablet. You could go ahead and click to the right, click to the left, up and down, and then whatever you want to do. So you could go, let's just say we'll go over here to where your apps are, click the little center button, 
that's in the middle there on the directional pad and of course you could go ahead and you could scroll down which is great also if you wanted you could go ahead and type in things there's also a home button so that way if you want you click the home button you get back to the home screen now let's just say we want to go and download it go over to download it click the enter button give it a few seconds come on up one click the enter button again and of course you could go ahead and start typing in what you want there also is a keypad on the bottom right hand side so that way you can click on it it allows you to type in whatever you want 218330 is the address for the time for streaming web page so if you want you go ahead after you type it in go down to go click the enter button and it's going to redirect you after i typed it in and went over to my web page i went on down and i'm going to install the google chrome or fire stick i don't have it on this fire stick so i'm going to install it now so that way i can show you how this mouse will navigate through the google chrome so i'm going to go through the setup installation right here we say install give it a few seconds but it tell me that it's done and open and of course i'm going to go ahead and choose done click on done now give it a few seconds delete delete click the three line button on your remote and let's open up google go ahead and accept now again see um right now i'm using a remote it's now allowing me but if i go to my virtual mouse that i put onto my tablet i could go ahead and go on down and then click okay to have it move on so here we are it says accept and continue so the bottom part of the mouse pad is where it's going to go ahead and give you that virtual mouse. Let's go ahead, go over here. It says accept and continue and go ahead, click on that enter button and let's move on with it. Here it is. Now you're back into your Google. Again, you use the bottom part of the mouse pad. Come on up. You could go ahead and use the right click on the mouse. It'll bring up a keyboard and you can start typing in. Click that home button on the virtual mouse on the bottom there, the one that looks like the house. Click on it, brings you back to the home page of your Fire Stick. One thing I want to stress to you to please do, anytime you're streaming, anytime you're surfing the web, please protect yourself and use a great VPN. The one that I use is IP Vanish VPN. They have great prices, low prices. You can connect to as many devices as you want. They are great excellent to have and this way your ip provider does not know what you're doing and what you're watching ip vanish vpn go ahead check out my description down below i do have a link in there for it click on it and it's really good i suggest that you use it i use it all the time even when i'm making these videos i always use it i make sure it's on leave your comments down below let me know if this is going to help you out with the google chrome on your fire stick Remember to like and subscribe, ring that bell. But always remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.